Hello, all you amazing people. I just wanted to show you this awesome Charming Sentiments card and project class that I have. I have three kits available. Um, you can purchase just the PDF if you want or um, one of the three kits that I have. Uh, if you are interested in the full package, you can still purchase that as well, but I just don't have all of the supplies available. So let me talk about this. This is my card class to go kit and I am doing these monthly now. So this month I have Charming Sentiments card and project class and what that does is it features the Charming Sentiments bundle. We have this awesome stamp set and then the dies that go with it and there are so many dies that you get two sheets. Some have a little bit of these awesome elements and then everything else cuts out all of the scenes. So if you do not have this bundle, you for surely can purchase this bundle and then still purchase one of the in-stock card classes I have. Um, I do not have these available. Stamping Up does not allow us to stock current items. So just wanted to let you know that these are not available for purchase um, directly like cash and carry, just the card class is. So three of these, let me go over what you get. You get PDF instructions. So um, for these three classes that I have available, I did print them off. Um, so just a little added bonus. So you will get all of the instructions for all of the cards. Look at all of these things. And I will still email them to you even though um, you are getting them printed. And then you get a half a package of the A Wash with Beauty, A Wash in Beauty designer series paper. So you can see one side has some floral to it and the other side has this awesome patterns that you can definitely utilize. You also get all of the class projects. So this is um, for one, two, three, four, five cards. And then um, this awesome, oh my gosh, if you guys haven't seen these, these are so stinking cute. They're little treat bags and they open up just like this and they stand on their own. Very cute. So you'll get two of these as well. So five projects and then the goodie bag. You also get a full thing of iridescent pearls and a full thing of the open weave ribbon. All right, so that's what you all get in the class. Let me just show you the cards that you will be making. And then I also have some alternate samples. Oh, and before I get to that, I made two sets of each card and I only had a fourth of a pack of paper. You're getting a half a pack of paper and this is how much paper I still have left over, right? So you will have this much and another six, six by 12 inch sheets. So, so much paper left. Okay, so let me show you. So this is the first card that, um, and, and depending on where you cut your cards or your DSP, yours will look a little different. And then this is how she just had the inside blank. Oh, and when I say she, I am working with several other demonstrators to provide these. So the class instructions might be a little bit differently worded than what you're used to with me, but just so you know, you can ask me any questions. And then this is what I did. I used a little strip there and added a sentiment. So that's card number one. Card number two, this is what the instructions will give you. So you do a little embossing there um, and and just, so I do not tie my ribbon all the way around and then tie a bow. I always just put the ribbon and then use my bow maker. Um, so that is gonna look just a smidge different as well. And then this was the one that I came up with. Um, I used a white background and I just stamped. I did not, um, so if you don't do heat embossing, you can just do the same in, in your um, stamped image instead. And then that's my inside. All right, the next card is this cute four and a fourth by four and a fourth card. 
And here's the inside of that. And then I adjusted it just a smidge and added a little bit more um, floral there. And then that's my inside. Very easy, very easy. So there is a little bit of fussy cutting with this, um, but I think you'll do okay. This next card doesn't fit in an envelope, but even though I put your supplies in an envelope, it will not fit into one, but look at how cool that is. I did all of your scoring and everything on there, so you don't have to worry about doing that, but it does tell you in the instructions how to do this fancy fold. And then this was the my slightly different sample. So instead of putting um, a green layer there, I added a little designer series paper. And I used a different saying down here. So very cute. So very similar. Just I just wanted to show you guys a couple um, variations. And then this is the last card. This was what she had. And the inside you could stamp a saying. And then I just made it a little different. So of course, like depending on what paper you have, you're going to have different... Uh, images to cut out and so I didn't have another one of these so I just took two images and the nice thing like and let me just try grabbing that piece of paper here is these images are going to kind of be on the side right so you can snip one of those or you can snip one of those like if it's in the corner you can definitely use this for that um, so you're utilizing those edge pieces and then this was my inside I just added a little blue to the inside too very nice, very cute. All right, and then lastly, the little treat bag. So this was the bag, it's kind of just a play on that last card. And then this is what I did. I used the Mary Merlot and I did an ombre effect up because what I'm thinking I'm gonna use this bag for, so I'm gonna open it up and then put some cards in it. And you guys will have envelopes as well. So I just don't have an envelope sitting here, but you could definitely give this sweet little bag full of goodies to someone, right? And then you could use your big card as like your little goodie. But so that is what this all is. If you do not have this bundle or do not care to purchase the Charming Sentiments bundle, if you look on these cards, um, this is already cut out for you too, so you don't have to worry about needing that. All you need is a sentiment, right? So super easy, add your sentiments and away you go. So um, if you do not have this bundle but you still love all these cards, it's really a collaboration with the designer series paper and this bundle. So let me know if you're interested. The three card packs that I have are $35. If you need it shipped, you do need to add an additional, I believe it's $7.95 um, for shipping. Otherwise, if you're local, just let me know and you can pick it up anytime. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.